Have you ever wished to look like an Oompa Loompa and have a bunch of birds fly out of your mouth? Well, you're in luck, because today I'm going to show you how to recreate this pop art, new kawaii style motion graphic from the famous music video, Pon Pon Pon. And if you watch to the very end, I'm going to show you how to recreate their circle outro as well. My name is DJ from Eternal Visuals. Let's not waste any time. Let's get into it. To pull off this effect, we're going to need a few things. A silhouette of a goose, a face, and a textured background. Wikimedia Commons had a free vector file of a flock of geese, so I brought it into Illustrator, arranged the separate wing heights, scaled them to a line, and then placed them in separate layers to prep for a cycle animation. I found this concrete texture on unsplash.com that we'll use to texture our background. There really isn't much to say about me filming my face. I tried to match the framing as close as possible to the original video and tried not to look too much like an idiot in the process. As always, everything is linked in the description below, so if you want to follow along, go for it. Let's jump into After Effects. Create a new project. I'm going to go with the resolution and frame rate of my video footage. Import your footage and drag it onto your timeline. Select the rotor brush tool and double click the footage to enter into rotor brush mode. Click and drag a line through your face for it to recognize the border. I then change to the refine brush tool for my hairline. Make sure the playhead is at the beginning of the timeline and hit play. Once it's finished, you can head back to your main composition where you should have a nice floating head ready for some geese action. To clean up your edges, decrease the shift edge on the refine brush tool to negative 97 and the rotor brush shift edge to negative 50. This might vary depending on your footage. Let's bring in our goose. Before you import, remember to select Composition Retain Layer Sizes. Drag it onto your timeline above your face and double click the comp to see all of your layers. Select all of your layers and grab their ends to resize them all to one frame in length. Go to your composition settings and change your timeline to 12 frames. In order, move each layer one frame in front of the other. Once you've run out, select all of your layers and duplicate them. Then continue frame by frame in reverse order, also deleting any repeated frames on the front and back end. When you hit play, you should have a nice seamless goose flight cycle. Head back to your main comp. Right click and select enable time remapping. At the end of your comp, move the playhead back one frame and create a new keyframe and delete the last one. Alt click the time remap clock and type this expression. Now we should have a nice never ending goose flight. Now it's time to create our flock. Hit S on your keyboard to decrease the scale of the goose to the point where it's small enough to fly out of the mouth. Move its starting point over the face. Hit P on your keyboard and create a position keyframe. Move forward on your timeline until the mouth is fully open, and then move the goose to the left to fully clear the face. Then move forward one second and move the goose to the edge of the frame. Duplicate the goose and then drag the composition a couple frames ahead of the previous and move its end position height above or below to bring variation. Keep duplicating and adjusting the height of the end frames on the timeline. Once you have a few, you can then duplicate the group rather than one by one. Keep moving further down the timeline and eventually you should have a nice looking flock. Select your goose comps, right click and pre-comp. Title it Geese. Grab your pen tool and head to the part of the timeline where the mouth is fully open. Create a border around the right side of the mouth where the edge of the face ends. Then expand the mask to the edge of the frame. Hit M on your keyboard to create a mask path keyframe. Create mask keyframes before and after to make sure that the border lines up with any slight mouth movements. Adjust the mask feather to three so the edge isn't so sharp. Our main effect is done here. Now let's add some color and texture. Grab your shape tool and click and drag ourselves a background. Use this hex code and drag it below your geese and face layers. Now for our stripe background, go to layer, new solid, and use this hex code. Drag it on top of your background layer. Go to your effects tab and search for Venetian blinds. Drag it onto your solid and adjust to these settings. Transition completion to 66%, direction to zero, width to 43, and feather to zero. Go back to your effects tab and search for polar coordinates. Drag it onto your solid and switch to rect to polar at 100%. Go back to your effects tab and search for twirl. Drag it onto your solid and change the twirl angle to 45 and the twirl radius to 28. Last but not least, let's go back one more time to the effects tab and search for roughen edges. Change to roughen color, color to this hex code, border to 5, sharpness to 0.48, fractal influence to 0.67, scale to 100, complexity to 10, and evolution to 51. 
Hit S on your keyboard and increase the scale to 323. Then using your select tool, move the center position of the twirl to the center of the head. Go to the beginning of your timeline. Hit R on your keyboard and create a rotation keyframe. Then head to 1 second 20 frames and adjust the rotation to 60. Let's bring in our texture. File Import Files and select your concrete texture. Drag it onto your twirl layer. Decrease the scale to 84% and then hit T on your keyboard to bring up the opacity settings and decrease it to 50%. Change the blend mode to multiply, then move the center of the texture to the center of the face, then parent the texture to the twirl solid. Now it should spin with our spiral. Now for our Oompa Loompa face. Go to your effects tab and search for hue and saturation. Drag it onto your face and adjust the master hue to 197 for this blue. To make the geese and the face layers more visually connected with the background, we're gonna add some noise. Go to your effects tab and search for noise HLS. Drag it onto your layers and increase the lightness to 13. And as promised, let's create our circle outro. Select all of your layers, right click and pre-comp. Title it Pon Pon Main. Go back into your comp and change the composition timeline length to one second 20 frames. Jump back out to your main comp, right click and select time, freeze on last frame. Now you should be able to drag your comp to the four second mark. Grab your shape tool and create a new solid using this hex code. Right click and pre-comp. Title it circle outro. Grab your shape tool and click and hold to select the circle tool. Create a perfect circle around your face by holding shift on your keyboard and change from add to subtract. At two seconds, 15 frames on your timeline, create a mass path keyframe. Drag your playhead one second, and while holding shift, control, and alt all at the same time, increase the size of your mask until it completely is out of frame. Ease in and out. Head to three seconds, 15 frames, and create a new keyframe. Then move 15 frames and hold the same three keys to shrink the mask size to zero. Ease in and out. And there you have it. I hope you were able to learn something today and had some fun along the way, and I can't wait to see you in the next one.